An Illinois company will pay more than $1 million for importing and selling children's toys that contained too much lead. According to the agreement, RC2 will pay $1.25 million while being able to deny that it knowingly violated federal law. The government maintains the company knew they were importing and selling Thomas and Friends wooden rail railway toys that had paints or other surface coatings containing lead levels above the legal limit. The company had to recall almost 2 million toys after the high lead levels were discovered. And well below average for this time of year. Back to you. Thank you, Bob. A children's toy maker is paying more than $1 million for importing and selling toys that contain too much lead. According to the agreement, the company RC2 will pay $1.2 million. While the lawsuit allows them to deny that they knowingly violated federal law, the government maintains the company knew they were importing and selling Thomas and Friends wooden railway toys with lead levels above the legal limit. The government says the lead was in the paint and other surface coatings. Hey, there, there might be in next month. An Illinois company owes the government big bucks for selling toys with dangerous lead levels. RC2 will pay $1.25 million to the federal government. That's after recalling 2 million toys with a dangerous lead content. Government officials say executives knew lead levels were above the legal limit in the toys when they were shipped. The settlement language will allow RC2 to further deny knowingly violating federal lead laws. Coming up as airports across